Afternoon, faithful viewer. Um, I got up this morning, the sun was shining. Um, I stuck on my blazer, I thought, oh, must be a booktube day. So I thought, what can I film? I can't do a tag at the moment because I've lost my little book of tags. It's somewhere in this flat, probably back there somewhere, but I can't find it. So I thought, well, what I could do is a wee quick book haul of all the books I've sort of picked up recently. Because um, they're always fun, aren't they? So we'll show you them. So the first three I've got to show you are part of a series. That series is the Jacobi series by William Ritter. So this is book two. This is Beastly Bones. And as well as that, we also have book three, which is Ghostly Echoes. And the final book is The Dyer King. Now, I've read the first one, uh, which was just called um, Jacobi. I really enjoyed it, and I meant to get back to the series, and I never did. And so I picked these up, and they finally came. Um, and in a previous video, I had mentioned a few series I wanted to finish this year. That's one of them, so um, that'll probably be cropping up quite a bit in the next couple of months. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, these books follow um, a young English woman who ends up in New England at the turn of the last century. She ends up working for a what is basically a paranormal investigator, and together they, they investigate the weird and the wonderful. Um, they're enjoyable books. They're really fun. They're described as YA. I don't know if I would call them YA. I think they skewer a wee bit a wee bit younger, but maybe that's just me. Uh, they're a sort of a, a cross between Doctor Who and Sherlock Holmes, so if you like either of those, you'll probably enjoy them. So that's that. So next up, what I've got to show you is the complete poetical works of Robert Burns. I picked this up in January because I wanted to do a sort of poetry reading on my channel, but then thought against it, quite rightly. Um, I picked this up, this has got all the, like I say, all these poetical works and it's much more manageable than uh, the five volumes I've got over on that shelf there because um, they're from the 1800s and they're very fragile. So we have that. I want to get any more poetry. Uh, I went yesterday looking for some Keats and some Wordsworth and all I could find was the Penguin Classics, you know, the um, the one Steve, the one Steve Donahue likes, and I find the writing rather, or the print rather small in them, so I don't like buying them. Well, speaking of that, I have um, a Grimm's Fairy Tale um, Penguin Classic. It's actually written by Philip Pullman. If anybody wants it, let me know down below because I have read it and I don't intend on keeping it. So next up, let's crack on. We have The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is the deluxe 10th anniversary illustrated edition. This is the UK cover, which is still nice, but I preferred the American cover. Uh, and in this, you get, a, you get an updated map, you get illustrations, you get sort of appendix. And it's, a, it's the first book, it follows Quoth, um, as he recounts um, the story of his, well, his life, basically, to a chronicler. You get the legend as well as what actually happened. It's it's really good and the writing style is fantastic. I would highly recommend it. As far as the illustrations go, you get this kind of thing. I don't know if you can see that there. That's Quoth there. Um, really fantastic. So we got that. Got that in December. I don't know when the last one's coming out, the last one's called The Doors of Stone, so um, I might actually reread that, come to think of it, before it comes out. I hope he's not doing a George R.R. R. Martin. Next up I've got to show you this, which is Christopher and His Kind by Christopher Isherwood. I want to get into more of his writing. Um, I've read one or two of his essays and I've read um, A Single Man, I like them. He has wee flights of fancy with his pen at the time, so. Um, this is essentially his story of being in 1930s Germany uh, and the rise of the Nazis. I have seen a BBC dramatisation of this and it was I thought it was really good. So I picked this up and I'm 
rather interested to read it. I notice all his books have this sort of um, artwork on it, you know, the sort of um, cartoony type drawing, it's quite nice. That was quite hard to come by because I went to a few bookshops book and um, some of them didn't have any of his work and uh, the Waterstones only had the Berlin novels and they were a bit tatty so I wasn't picking them up. Speaking of tatty, this one's been through the wars but that's because I'm currently reading it and that is The Importance of Being Seven by Alexander McCall Smith. Uh, this is actually book 6, I, I always get these numbers mixed up, but this is book 6 in the 44 Scotland Street series. Um, and it just follows the lives of the inhabitants. This is sort of a serial novel, so there's not much in the way of a plot, it just sort of carries on and carries on. But they're really enjoyable, really light. Uh, you would call them cosy reads, I would think. Um, like I say, I'm just a bit done with this. And um, What I love is Bertie's mother, Irene. Um, buggered off for a while which is enjoyable because she's an overbearing mother and I do feel sorry for him. Hopefully I'll finish that today but we'll see how we fly because um, I've not been doing much reading recently. More on that at a later date. Yeah, we're at that point in the video where I feel like I'm just ranting at a video. I ran at a video, ranting at a camera. So let's, let's finish this shall we? The final book I've got to show you is Avenue of Mysteries by John Irving. Um, as I've said previously, I read In One Person by him last year and I absolutely loved it. So I picked this up. This is, I believe, is his latest novel. I think this was in 2012. He doesn't rush them out, but that's because they're all like that. Um, I've just started this. It's primarily set in Mexico. Well, Mexico and... Um, the USA and then it goes over to, where does it go over to again? Somewhere in Asia. Sorry, it's just coming right out of my head. Um, quite enjoying it. Um, what can I say about it? Like I say, I've just started it. Quite enjoying it. It sort of jumps about a bit between his, the main character's past and his present. Um, it's a bit of a slow burn, but it is. It's quite engrossing, quite enjoyable. So, we're hopefully going to finish that this week. We'll see how we go. So that's that. A quick wee video just to, um, just because the sun's shining. Um, if you've read any of these, please let me know. If you're thinking of reading any of them, let me know that too. Or if you just want to pop a wee message down below and say hello. I won't hold that against you. What I need to do now is hold these up, don't I? I need to hold these up in a bloody a big pile and give you a, a goofy smile so if you are ready you ready? 3, 2, 1 there we go thanks for watching I'll see you again bye bye